Hey there. I was just, you know, scrolling through Snapchat and I happened to click on something and it was talking about how the average person touches their phone 2,700 times a day. I mean, that's ridiculous. And like, you phoneaholics out there, touch your phone over 5,000 times a day. And just put into consideration that. Also, all the stuff that you touch, your remote, all the food, that's directly going straight to your phone. I mean, think about all those germs that are just chilling and hanging out right on your phone all day. I mean, just think about, what have you touched lately? Jake won't text me. against Cleveland and the Celtics? Um... God bless you? So this made me think that if I use my phone less, does that mean that I'll have less germs on my phone? And that kind of led me to my hypothesis that if I touch my phone less and try and use voice activator, AKA Siri a lot more, will it have a bigger effect on how many germs I have on my phone? So the way I designed my experiment is basically I swab my phone. Keep in mind, I don't think I've ever cleaned my phone like ever so i swabbed it and then after i swabbed it i put it on the agar and agar is basically like food for the bacteria after that i would i put it i would i put it i would i put it okay I, I know how i feel why would you say that like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation like you know i'm not happy incubator and set it for 37 degrees celsius and let that sit for about two days so after i swabbed the dirty phone i cleaned the phone with some handy dandy clorox bleach and put it on a rag and cleaned it and then I swabbed another one with another agar plate so I can compare the, um, the phone from before and the phone from after. Here are the results. You can clearly see that there's a ton of growth on the before plate and no growth on the after plate. I gave this before plate a value of 100% and the plate after a value of 0%. These were my control plates. So after I cleaned the phone, I did two things. One of them was touch my phone for 24 hours like I usually do. And then the second was going a whole 24 hours without trying or trying to at least avoid touching it by using voice command. We quickly found out that this was practically impossible, so we put it into a sandwich bag and we used it this way. After that, we um, got the bacteria for we got the bacteria from both phones and we let it sit for two days. Here are the results. You can see that even after 24 hours of touching, the screen has a lot of stuff growing on it. I gave this plate a value of 63%. The no touch plate, however, just had a little growth on it, so I gave this plate a value of 13%. Then I put all of the data into the table. The 24 hour touch plate had almost 65% of the control plate, but the no touch plate looked more like 0%. In conclusion, three things we can take away is that one, there's tons and tons of bacteria in your phone. Two, is that even after cleaning it, your phone, the bacteria in your phone is eventually going to come back from touching it. And three, is that reducing the amount of touches will reduce the amount of bacteria that will be on your phone. So, should everyone stop touching their phone? Well, I mean, with the amount of cookie clicking going on, I 
highly doubt that that will happen. But I mean, at the end of the day, it wouldn't hurt at all to wipe your phone with a little bit of Clorox at the end of the day. And in all favor, I mean, it will help you from looking like this. Oh, my God.